how did it feel finally taking off that bird head and having that sort of love and reception last night? When I took off the mask and revealed who the peacock was, it was, it was such a great moment because I was keeping the secret for almost a year. We taped this thing last May, June, but we started talking about doing this uh, about a year ago. So I couldn't tell any, couldn't tell my kids, couldn't come tell my grandchildren. My wife knew about it. In fact, my little, uh, one of my little grandchildren, Truman, calls me up and says, Grandpa, there's this show on called The Mass Singer, and I love the peacock, and he sounds so much like you, and I couldn't say anything. Donnie, you've done everything, and you've dedicated your life to show business, but you said this was the most fun thing you've ever done. Why was this the best time of your life? It probably was the most fun thing because it was starting over. I mean, I've done so many things in 56 years of show business, so what's going to be a challenge? What's going to be the next thing, the next little plateau that I want to climb? Well, to start over. And when I was first approached about this concept, immediately I thought, well, this is great because when I walk in, we all check our resumes at the door. We're all, all 12 of us are on equal playing fields. And I had no idea who I was competing against. So this was a challenge that was uh, so unique. And uh, I had to take up this opportunity. And I was so honored to be the first performer on The Masked Singer. It's like, what was this experience like? Well, yeah, I, every time I'd go on camera, you know, it's Donny Osmond. And all of that baggage, good or bad, you know, comes with me. Every time I enter the stage, every time an audience sees me, oh, it's Donny Osmond. And it sparks a memory in everybody as to what they know me for. As the peacock, they don't have anything. To, there's no yardstick to compare me to. So it's all down to what I do at that moment with that song. And that was, that was the appealing factor to me. So as an artist, it allowed me to wipe the slate clean and start over. Take us through being in that peacock suit. What was that like? Well, the peacock costume, it was, it was amazing. The, the lady who designed all this stuff, she is just a genius. But I remember the first time I put it on, I thought, well, first of all, the, the outfit itself was fine. It's the head, and it's the plumes that I had to work with. You know, how am I going to do this? Because when you put a mask on, all your facial expressions go away. And as a singer, that's where most of that emotion comes from. The camera, you work the lens of the camera with the emotion, gone. So I gave my, my phone to the designer, and, then, and I said, video this for me. And she said, I can't take any videos. I said, don't tell anyone. I won't say a word. I have to see what I can and can't do with this outfit. So she was videoing me. And the only thing I could do is just like, you know, use that beak, you know, and the eyes. Because that's all I had to work with. So I would rehearse at home. And uh, my wife got really sick of me walking around the house as a peacock. <laughs> she said, let it go, please. What was it like being on a show in 2019 of this caliber? Like, do you feel like this is the next, you know, could you see the Osmonds and Marie all wearing peacocks? It's like, how was it being on a show of this ilk? Well, I come from a generation of variety, okay? That's, that's what I grew up doing. And I think back at what I used to do on the Donnie Marie show with all the costumes and the, it was so elaborate and the amount of stuff that we put in in an hour every week. And when I was donning this peacock outfit, I almost went back to the memories of, the, of Donnie and Marie because some of those costumes were really weird. <laughs> but, uh, but I think this is the modern day variety, you know? Because it's, you know, it spans every generation. Little kids, all the way up to you know, 90 year old people. They, they, they all love it. In fact, I have a 90 year old neighbor who, uh, who I saw last week. He said, you're the peacock, aren't you? And I couldn't say anything. I said, no, I think it's Neil Patrick Harris. And then the, a little two-year-old neighbor, he was, I saw a little video of him dancing in front of the television, trying to dance like the peacock. And so everybody loves this show. It's, it's the perfect show right now. Like, would you go back and do Don A. Marie or the Osmond Brothers variety show 2020, maybe? I don't think the variety that we used to do in the past will ever work again. It was, you know, slapstick and silly and all this stuff. People want reality, want realism. Uh, so it was fine in the 70s. Uh, it's got to be really, really clever and over the top to get everybody's attention, kind of like The Masked Singer. You know, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to try to top this show. I think this show is going to be on for a long, long time. And 
I'm glad for Fox. I'm glad for all the people who just rolled the dice and they got a seven. And in fact, I was behind the stage um, and I had my peacock outfit on and I was in this little cubicle and nobody could come in, obviously. I mean, guards were protecting us. And my mask was off, it was on the counter. And this guy walks in. And I immediately, I covered my face. I said, you can't be in here. And I heard them say, it's OK, you can look up. It was president of Fox. <laughs> Rob Wade, president of Unscripted. And he's the one that rolled the dice. And we had a, a fun conversation. And the last thing he said to me, he says, we're banking on this. We we're really putting a lot of money into this. You're the first singer out there. No pressure, but do a good job. <laughs> I said, Rob, I'll do my best. And uh, it was a feeling when I heard that, da, 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 and I sang, ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The crowd went crazy. Because think about it, wear my shoes, the producer's shoes, everybody's shoes here for a second. Nobody knew what was gonna happen. Even the audience had no idea. But as soon as I sang that and went into the chorus of The Greatest Show, this is the greatest show! And I'm running around the stage. I can't see, by the way, I have a little cheesecloth thing down here. That's all I can see. And you can't breathe. Other than that, it was a great experience. But when the audience went crazy, I looked at the panel, they were going crazy. I was going crazy. The dancers around me were going crazy. I thought immediately, this is gonna work.